In this video, I'll be breaking down how exactly I was able to go from having zero knowledge of AWS to getting five AWS certifications all within the space of 18 months. I'll be sharing the exact resources I used, what my exam strategy was, and what advice I have for people who want to get AWS certified in the shortest amount of time whilst maximizing the knowledge and experience gained from the certifications. A big thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace, but more about them later in the video. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm an associate solutions architect working at Amazon Web Services, and I make videos to help people get AWS certified, build their technical skills, and land a job in the cloud computing industry. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to this channel to stay updated. Now, let's just jump straight into it. This is the four step approach I take when studying for AWS certifications. Step number one, scoping. Step number two, active listening. Step number three, getting hands-on. And step number four, reinforcing. Scoping is all about getting an understanding of what you need to study to pass the exam and then creating a high level study plan. If you're anything like me, you probably also struggle with motivation when it comes to big goals like getting an AWS certification. This is why before studying for each certification, I put aside one to two hours to understand what the exam requirements are, what resources I should use, and how much time I need to dedicate each week to my cloud learning journey. For example, the first thing I did when I was preparing for my Solutions Arctic Associate exam was to read through the official exam guide. Every AWS exam guide outlines the individual weightings of the main topic areas, which I found really helpful. After that, I selected the resources I plan to use to prepare for the certifications. In my case, I purchased this Udemy course taught by Stefan and practice exams created by Tutorials Dojo. Finally, I blocked out two to four hours on my calendar each day to study so that I could reach my goal of passing the exam within one month. Now, after all that scoping and preparation is done, the next step I take is active listening. This is where I start watching videos from the Udemy course and take notes of the key points. I like to handwrite my notes because I find that it helps me remember things better. This step is quite simple. Watch a video, write some notes, watch another video, write some more notes. And then at the end of each study session, review the notes you've written in order to consolidate your knowledge. At this point of the video, you're probably wondering, okay, Lucy, what AWS resources do you recommend? Now, after spending over 200 hours studying for AWS certifications and sitting those exams, here are the top resources I would recommend. Quick pause, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. If you're looking to create your own website, get started with the best-in-class website template and customize it to fit your needs. You can browse from different categories to find a perfect starting place. You can also sell your products on an online store. Whether you sell physical or digital products, Squarespace has the tools you need to get started with selling online. Every Squarespace website and online store also comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that help you maximize prominence among search results. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash techwithlucy to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So when I was studying for AWS certifications, I tried out a whole bunch of video courses and different instructors. And here are the top five I would recommend. Stefan Marek on Udemy, super concise, engaging, and easy to understand. Adrian Cantrell, focuses on the details, provides clear explanations, and teaches you not only how to pass the exam, but also provides important content concepts for real-world AWS projects. Neil Davis, concise, easy to understand, great video courses and practice exams. John Bonzo slash Tutorials Dojo, best AWS exams I've come across, super detailed explanations. And finally, AWS Skill Builder. It's completely free and there's learning material to help you get AWS certified. If you'd like to check out any of those courses, I have the link to them in the video description below. Now that you've watched a bunch of videos for the certification exam and have written down notes, the next step is really to get hands-on by playing around with the AWS services. The good news is the video courses I've recommended all come with interactive tutorials that help you navigate through the AWS console and use the services. However, I recommend taking this a step further and gaining even more experience through AWS workshops. If you head to workshops.aws, you will see over 100 free AWS tutorials. Going through a couple of these workshops will help you become more confident when sitting your exam because you would have had actual hands-on experience. The final step to studying for AWS certifications is reinforce everything you've learned through the video courses and hands-on workshops by doing practice questions. I think on average for every certification, I did around 300 to 400 practice questions. That's how many it took for me to get 
get ready to sit the exam because there are so many different types of questions they can ask, especially in the harder ones like the Solutions Arctic professional exam. My biggest tip is to make sure for the questions you don't answer correctly, go back to the video courses to review the content. That way, when it comes to the real exam, you'll have had a chance to make sure you fill in the gaps in your knowledge. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, I have spent over 200 hours studying for AWS certifications and sitting AWS exams. Because of this, I'd like to share with you my top pieces of advice and my learnings throughout this whole experience. First of all, make sure you understand your why. Why are you studying for the certification in the first place? This will help you stay motivated and consistent. Make sure you study smart, not hard. Split up your time wisely between video courses, hands-on exercises, and practice questions. Book your exam before studying for it. This will help you work backwards so that you can block out time in your calendar to study. Just be kind to yourself. Everyone starts off with different levels of technical experience, so don't compare your progress with others. And remember, it's okay if you don't pass an exam on the first go. And finally, subscribe to this channel to learn more about how to get a job in the cloud industry. All right, so this brings us to the very end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. This video honestly took me a really long time to make because I was trying to figure out how to best give advice on studying for AWS certifications. So I would really, really appreciate it if you can give this video a like and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.